Hi, this is Ralph Turciano. It is the 7th of March, 2016, and I'm here to bring you the top health headlines of the week, albeit not exactly a happy bunch. Article number one, Zika outbreak. Study finds a virus could attack fetal brain trigger complication at any stage of pregnancy. Researchers discovered the following. The Zika virus can attack tissues in developing fetal brains, regardless of when during the pregnancy the infection occurred. Now keep in mind there's something more they discovered. We have found a strong link between the Zika and adverse pregnancy outcomes. Even if the fetus isn't affected, the virus appears to damage the placenta, which can lead to fetal death. I'll let the DOI citation down below so if you decide to research further on your own, it is there. Article number two, or I should say headline number two. One in two Americans has a coffee musical skeleton condition, skeletal condition. One in two adults, which is 126.6 million Americans. Now, the most striking, interesting information to uh, pull from the study was it comes to arthritis. When it came to arthritis, two thirds of arthritis sufferers are under the age of 65. Under the age of 65. Now keep in mind, this can include osteoporosis, lower back pain, the study uh, covers quite a bit, but in the end, one in two Americans have a mucoskeletal con skeletal condition. Article number three. Agricultural fertilizer. Now, before I proceed, we're not talking about someone coming in contact with a fertilizer per se. Just someone consuming meat that was to the animal that was exposed to the agricultural fertilizer. Now, let us begin. Agricultural fertilizer could pose risk to human fertility. This was a study done in sheep, but however, though, it easily translates to humans. Eating meat from animals grazed on land treated with commonly used agricultural fertilizers might have serious implications for pregnant women and their future reproductive health of the unborn children, the researchers concluded. The Journal of Scientific Reports has shown striking effects of exposure of pregnant ewes and the female lambs, and this was originally done in sheep, to a cocktail of chemical contaminants present in pastures fertilized with human sewage sludge derived fertilizer. According to researchers, this is a fairly common practice and the contaminants from this human sludge is easily passed through the animal to the meat back to us. Again, this is the top three health headlines of the week. This is Ralph Channel signing off and hope to catch you again in the next seven days. See you later on.